Hello guys, it is Cloudy Emerald. Welcome to Cloudy Talks with Mimi. Hello, it's Mimi. Sweet. We have our very first external guest on One on One with Cloudy. Hooray. Yay. <laughs> so thank you, Mimi, for getting on and doing this little podcast. You're uh, welcome. This is Glad to be here. This is episode 10, and I'm recording off of a program, and then you're just on Discord, right? Okay. And I'm hoping this all runs smooth. You sound great. I sound great. So let's get into it. All right. I'm ready. So Mimi, looking at the first picture, because uh, I like to kind of start things out by looking at these little pictures. We had this back to the 90s, 90s, 90s. I was trying to think of like, you know, man, what do I think about when I think about Mimi? You know, when I uh, look up online and Google like little images and I couldn't think of much. But uh, I came, I kind of came up with like a 90s thing. Well, what do we what about we talk about the 90s? Maybe we talk about the past and hang out. And so that sounds wonderful. Because you was born in 1990. So, uh, 90s was a good time. And my social is... I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember it going starts with 4-4. Four, four. Oh, my! <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> it's 80 digits, it's 4-4-4-4-4 four, 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 four times 8. So, all you internet creeps out there. <laughs> oh, jeez. So this is a cool little post that I, I saw on Google. Um, I guess it's kind of like a little breakdown. So music, it has Whomp. It looks like Whomp. Whomp, there it is. Oh, I, yeah. I guess my tag team. Uh, Ice Ice Baby, terrible. Uh, Stole from Queen. And uh, Bumble number five. Oh, you love that song, don't you? Yes. I liked Ice Ice Baby too. You did. That was oh. pretty. Cool. Back in the day, that was a good. That was good music back in the day. <laughs> I guess so. Um, Boys, man, Whitney Houston. Oh, I'll always love you. Well, how's that? Yes, go? that one makes me cry. Oh. Her and Kevin Costner, loving on each other. Did you know? <laughs> me and Apples watched that the other day. Did you know that? I didn't know that. <laughs> what did they think of it? I think he really liked it. I didn't get to finish it. It was on like um, HBO or something. Yeah. And uh, we got until like two thirds of the way in. It was just way too late. I was like, oh, we'll watch it later. And it was like two days later, they took it off of HBO. Oh, no. So I couldn't. I was like, what? Oh, my gosh. This random time I want to watch this stupid movie, um, yeah. The Bodyguard. Because I remember Dad always stopped to watch it, always. Yeah, he loved it, too. Uh, he, you know, of course, always changed the channel, so you saw pieces of it. <laughs> <laughs> when it would get boring, he'd change it, and he'd come back to it. <laughs> yeah, I was telling my but, mother-in-law that, and she's like, what? What's going on? I was like, yeah, we, we'd always watch it. Yes, I loved it. That's funny. Yeah, I think my favorite part was... When he was in there watching this giant, giant screen of her video and her singing, and she was watching him watch her from the other room, that was that was a good point for me. Yeah, that that was pretty crazy because you know I think he was trying to like study because you know the bodyguard obviously is about a bodyguard, and so he's trying to like learn about his person that he's um, trying to protect and so he's sitting there diving into her Whitney Houston which is in the film like a famous singer you know so well I disagree with you uh, uh, that's a man's point of view okay. a woman's point of view is he was attracted to her immediately and he was watching her with something more than job related Ooh la la! Yes, he really? had an attraction, and he was loving every minute. But that's when she changed when she saw him admiring her from the other, you know, from across the uh, lawn. That's when she changed towards him, her anger and her, you know, hostility. 
Wow, that's an interesting point of view. Yeah, because I definitely, I saw it as in like, oh, well, maybe he's trying to get some more info or details or trying to pick something out. But, you know, that's cool. I can yep. dig it. Right. Which is probably a 90 slain. <laughs> maybe I, it is. <laughs> uh, okay, what else have we got on here? This thing got a bunch of junk on here. Let's see. I can't see it. It's 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 uh, foggy to me. So you'll just have to tell me what it says. It's uh, did did you get the link? Blurry. I did, but it's it's so small. And then when I uh, bring it up, it's it's blurry. I see fashion trends and toys, but the rest underneath oh. it, I, I can't see. Even with my magnifying glasses on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's terrible. Well, you can tell me what uh, it says. Could, could you can you put your cursor over the picture? Does it like zoom in for you? Well, I did zoom it, but it's so tiny when you send it to me. When I zoom it, it's not a whole lot better. Oh, okay. It just makes it, yeah, you know. Because you could put your like your mouse cursor and it like zooms in for me. Does it not do that for you? Uh, well, no, it does not. I have I have to right click it to open it. I mean. You know, oh, click okay. it to open it, and it, it open original, and it's just it's just blurry. Okay, well, that sucks. But that's all right. You can tell me what it says. It's pretty. Oh yeah, you don't click it. Just put your. Okay, no, it's okay. We can move on. Uh, cause let's see, TV show Seinfeld. Mm -hmm. Uh, Saved by the I Bell. Never yeah, I never watched that one. You know what? I never watched it either. It was always yeah. the ones that came on like late at night. I was like, oh my gosh. Uh, it's lame. Who wants to watch a bunch of kids in a locker room <laughs> at school? <laughs> Mimi firing shots. Oh no, I forgot to start the timer. Oh, that's okay. I have a and timer. And fashion the trends. The first thing I thought of when I saw that is you didn't have any fashion. <laughs> <laughs> well, who was buying my clothes? Um, well, well, you had a fashion when you was in the 90s. But as you as you got in your teens, you you really didn't have a fashion. <laughs> yeah, it was more of like hand me down slash like the darkest colors. Band well, it was concert t shirts. Yeah, that's basically. what it was. So it, that was your trend, and it might have been the trend uh, for for the kids at school. Um, but you know, when no. I think of uh, fashion trends, I think of like what. Um, What's that guy that sang that that song you were talking about a minute ago? Ice Ice Baby. Oh yeah, but, uh, uh, Vanilla Ice. <clears throat> Vanilla Ice. Yeah, what he was wearing in the '90s. Those are fashion trends. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't want to do. I almost wanted not to do any of that. Oh no, no. You know, it was kind of one of those things. I was like, yeah, mm -hmm. that's lame and. Frosted tips. I'm seeing on this fashion trend. Everybody had frosted blonde tips. Your brother. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I was like, why? How are you going to be brown and have like, you know, bleach blonde, blonde hair? That, that doesn't make any sense. You're trying to like look like you're a white kid or something. I know, but but at that time it, that was a trend. Yeah, I mean time. everybody. Yeah. Had, it didn't matter who it was. Everyone right. had that. Yeah. Yeah. Chain wallets. No, I did have a chain wallet for the longest time. Yeah. But that really wasn't the nineties. Y'all did have mullets when you was babies. I didn't know they were called mullets. I think the uh, older two brothers did. Did I? Yeah. All really? of you kids did. We didn't cut your hair, but then it would get long in the front, so we would cut, cut. I would cut uh, the front of your hair so uh, you could see, uh. and left the back of your hair, so it could get long. Because your dad wanted you to have long hair like native. I don't see mullet on here. I think that's on the redneck poster. Mm -hmm. No, maybe that's <laughs> in the 2000s. <laughs> Let's see. Toys. Oh, Nintendo 64. Oh, oh. yeah. Y'all had that. I remember a critical moment where it was like all four brothers crowded around dad as he was like, holding the box and like looking at it pretending to read it for like 20 minutes and, we, oh. and, and it was like one brother would try to say something yeah yeah and anyways it could do this and that and then like the other brother would try to chime in and we was like doing everything we could 
for him not to put it back. Uh, <laughs> it was like he was tor- torturing us. Like, he was really looking like, hmm, no, no, no. Like, he was, like, on the edge, like, yes or no. But I think you're always going to get it either. I mean, I don't know. I was a kid. I was like, come on, come on. Well, you know you know how he is. He does like to, to make you want for it. <laughs> but I remember him just standing there, like, squinting his eyes, trying to, like, yeah. read the box. And, like, he would, he would, like, lift it up. For whatever reason, like, you could read better, right? If you lift it up above your head. Like, you know how dads oh, yeah. do. And they, like, lift it up and, like, huh, right. now I get it better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, man, that was the best. It was. You all enjoyed that. And you still do. That's one thing you brothers still have in common. Playing your video games. Now, what do you, Mimi, remember the most about the 90s? Well, I remember having babies and uh, diapers and feedings. and (laughs) um, I was a busy mama. I mean... You know, I stayed home with you boys. I had to take these, you know, to school and you three boys were home and, you know, laundry and dishes and cooking. And I I just took care of my children. That's what I remember the most. But I enjoyed every minute with you. Hmm. Yeah, I do. Talked to you and sang to you and, you know, that I, I enjoyed every minute. The 90s were the best. Yes. I mean, even the late 90s, I've seen a lot of this stuff that, like, Toy Story. That was the late 90s, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I saw something else that seemed like late 90s. Well, the older you got, the funner it was, because then you were a- we were able to do and go. Uh, places together movies and um, libraries and so forth you know whatever was going on so the older you got the more fun it became hmm yeah I I mean when I think back I I definitely do think of like Sunday morning cartoons video games hanging out and chilling and this is when we was at like the old 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 house yeah that was sort of my favorite times, too. And everything was so, like, compact, too, because it wasn't, like, a huge house, but, you know, it's six people. It's like you're right. all up in each other's space, and you're right. doing everything together because it's like you can't go off and do something else, you know? Yes. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Cool. I don't have any other pictures prepared other than this. <laughs> this podcast might be a big old picture of this thing, and that's about it, which is okay. Yeah. So, we're well, about 13 minutes. Did you want to uh, keep it going? Like, did you have a topic or something? Or Because usually these podcasts are just 10 minutes just because. Well, I don't... I can't think of a topic. I, um... I, I don't have a clue. All I know is I'm proud of you, son, and I enjoy this podcast, and I want to thank you for letting me be the first external guest. <laughs> Hooray! Well, thank Hooray! you, Mimi. That has been Cloudy Talks, where we chit-chat about the 90s and the past. Thank you all for um, listening. Thank you, Mimi, for joining. Uh hope You're everything uh, looks and sounds great. Yes. I'm surprised. How... Let's edit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's. <laughs> I'll probably go all night editing this. But yeah, y'all. Y- um, I think your audio sounds great. I think mine might yeah. have been a little bit quiet, but whatever. That's we'll talk shop later. So uh, thank you guys for watching episode ten one zero. Thank you. Peace. Peace.